yes, yes, now I see what you are told. It's like, <laughs> I apologize, I forget that you were viewing through our live streaming option. Thank yep, you for purchasing our... D20 does not like the iPad. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, D20 a bitch. There's no lying. But that is what it is. Anyway, uh, that makes it Ariana's turn, and uh, yeah, what, what do you want to do? Take care of these dumb flames. So you're gonna, you're gonna go back to the flames? Yeah, I don't want them spreading to the car I'm going to next. All right. I have a solution for that. O okay. I don't trust your solution. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, go for it. You got this. I believe so, you. You're gonna walk back over there, right? And it's got a, like a sixty foot range. I thought. Oh, are you gonna do it from there? That might help. Yeah, you. let's. Yeah, do, do it, from, it there. from there. And then, uh, I. Uh... Oh wait, you you healed Donnie, right? Shit. No, I just put the fire. Out. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's right. I just I, put the fire out. I, okay, I was about to say, I was like, damn, Donnie should be up then, but no, that's right. You just put the fire out, so Donnie is where I left him, which is the correct I'm spot. I'm gonna use. I don't want to kill the idiot. <laughs> to be fair, he killed himself. Yeah, but. Technically, it's He's... one of her things to help people who aren't as smart as her. Oh, no. then damn, you should Good give him all of that. <laughs> You're going to be helping him a lot. He is not smart. No, he's not. To be fair, he, he, God made him that way, cough. <laughs> Looks at self in mirror, why would I do this to Don? He's just, bam, shoot self in the foot. Damn, you because... are angry. My issue is I have one of each level. This is why I went to the sleep part and rest your and <laughs> Meanwhile, the as the rest of the car down. burns down. <laughs> so yeah. This flame's gone. I'm definitely doing that. Okay. So we've got another flame gone. And Sorry, I'm just moving it off the screen. Ugh, All right, he bitch. gets one heal from me. Oh shit! And he gets max healing. He gets seven. Yeah, Katharis deserves it. That's he... all you get, you idiot. He's like, holy, sh Jesus like... just saved me. And that's what she says to activate the magic, too, since it's healing words. <laughs> He's like, this is all you get, dumbass. Heals him. <laughs> I feel like that is a great D&D comic meme. <laughs> Honestly, to be fair, anything Katharis does would just make a great little comic meme. <laughs> Walks up to Bear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I've never slayed a mammoth before. <laughs> it's a bear. Well, I've never slayed a bear before. <laughs> uh, and that is uh, your turn, correct? She tells him to be careful and not to touch any more fire. He's like, you got it, tiny healing demon lady with nice hair. And, uh... Boop! Oh! <gasps> I think yes. by the technical t terms of the thing, you are out of the range. Heck yeah! Uh, but you're not going to be happy with the result. Oh no. Boom, boom, oh, boom. <laughs> hey, look who's smart! Why? You should have listened. To be fair, and that they wouldn't have noticed either because it takes a second. It's technically, and this won't technically show up for a turn because this is not regular fire. Eh. But uh, basically, at the start of your next turn, that's what's going to pop up. And currently, at the start of this turn. Oh. Shit. Uh, which also catches Donnie back on fire. 
Johnny, no! I told you not to play in fire! At which point, uh, Catharsis is going to try to save Donnie from the fire. Oh, God. Oh, hey, oh, he did it. I, I just told him to stay oh, away he's good. From he rolled a 20. Fire. Oh. Go, Catharsis. And, uh, D Catharsis is going to look down. He's going to pull something out of his bag and pour it on Donnie. Oh, no. I don't like the fact that he said pulled something. That's fine. You just see Donnie get better. And wake up. Okay. He's like, that was my last healing potion, Donnie. But you deserve it. You're the real backbone of this duo. Quack, what do you mean I'm not part of the duo? <laughs> At which point, uh, Donnie, being a bird, flies over the fire. <laughs> And says, fuck y'all, and is out. He's like, quack. Donnie, you bastard! Since he's a bird, you should have had him fly into the fucking window. <laughs> the windows are closed, sir. As all good train windows should be. He also looks at you and goes, quack. Yeah, that's why I said fly into a window, not out a window. But At least someone was smart enough to follow us. <laughs> Quack, Tony, I am too smart! <laughs> and he's gonna look back and say, This is not good! I knew that was wrong. I was looking at the wrong character. There we go. Is this still my turn? Uh, actually, currently it would be Kiori's turn. My bad. Okay. I saw my <laughs> name up top. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Kiori feels bad for the others, but at the same time, her logic then cut the bad part out. <laughs> uh, let's see. So she's going to yell at them again. I suggest get out of there. Before I cut the train in half if possible. Katharis is gonna yell back, There's a fire in the way! Run quickly? Well, I have an idea! Your ideas aren't usually great. This, this, you're not wrong. But hear me out. You're not wrong? I will <laughs> throw you over the fire. I don't need throne. I mean, I'm I can take care of myself. If you don't want to, I'm jumping the fire. I think I can jump the fire. I jump in the fire. He can't jump the fire till his turn, which is next turn. Well, I rolled strength test. I got. I, They're uh, cutting it now. Yeah. So this uh, train is like many trains before it, connected by a metal yeah, latching so I piece. Rolled a, I rolled a fifteen with my strength test to try to cut that part off. The other side of the train. Yeah, we're gonna go out on a limb here and say that's not high enough. Can I try again? You got two attacks. I don't see why not. Yay. This is also why I wasn't too worried about it, because I figured they wouldn't take the appropriate time measures to t to release the fucking train mechanism. Or, or the, you know, the easy way of, und of doing that. Yeah. Well, I got a 22 now, so. Well, you're able to hit it. 
But can you do enough damage to it? That is the question. So now you will roll your regular battle axe damage, because I assume you were swinging at it with your battle axe and not just your bare hands. Oh no. Yep, yep. <laughs> I, I have a quick question. Ye. Yeah. I Did can't turn into a bird with my beast shape yet, can I? No, you should. There should be at least one bird on you your should list. Be able to. Yeah, there's at least one. Well, but it I says no for... flying speed. Oh shit. Well, I hit it for eleven, eleven damage. Do you still want that throw? <laughs> I, I'm still fine. <laughs> 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 it's like I can make you feel like a bird. Just choose an animal, and I'll throw you. We'll Don't make pigs fly. <laughs> Don't it... touch me, idiot. I mean, that's fair. Uh, you did eleven you. damage to the lock. You put a nice, uh, you know, little line in the mechanism, but it's still holding on there. Can I see if there's a way to unlock it? Out. <laughs> uh, you can next turn. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> That's why I said I wasn't too worried. I'm like they're, you know, they could definitely cut this train off and leave us on the tracks, but they're probably gonna I take too much. Technically, <laughs> trying to give them enough time to get through. They were not smart enough. <laughs> so I love how it's just Dippy's, just like it is my way or the highway. <laughs> It's like you will get on this train cart now. <laughs> Put mom my fire homework. Get in this car right now. I'm going the Hispanic way. Either you're coming or you stay. <laughs> That's those are the two options. You better hurry up because we're not gonna wait for you. We're not gonna wait. <gasps> wait for me. Uh, that makes it Catharsis' turn. Uh, he's gonna look. He's like Donnie, you coward. He's like, I have no way to deal with this. At all. I am a lowly fighter, but swords do not kill fire. I learned that the hard way when this whole thing started. I, I, I killed one of them. The whole room exploded in fire, so I lit a fire to try to stop the fire. That didn't yes, work. Yes, David Bowie. Yes. Yes, we yeah. heard this. But now that I think about it, fuck this fire. <laughs> and he's going to make a jump. Ah, oh, bad. Real bad. Oh wait, you don't have to roll for jumps. Duh. Jumping is like just half of your regular distance. And for me, that's 15 feet. Wait, where's my measure? There we go. Oh shit, I forgot this is bigger than it looks. Ah! Ah! He's like, alright, I've got this. I'm gonna run slightly into the fire. <laughs> He's like, you know, oh, no. but first he doesn't have that much health. But first, I think I need to use, you know, I need to met muster up my so-called second wind. Oh, thank God! And he uh, he just like takes big deep breath and he says, "Goose Fraba." Usha. <laughs> Oh no. Mm, mm. Uh, oh no. Oh okay, this isn't too bad. Okay. That's that's a better oh, I, interpretation I like of this. When I see you Google. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check. You know, I'm not the ultimate master Divi. I just check when I'm not sure no, about stuff all the time. I like it. So I go one, like two, and then I can make the jump. Uh, I per space I should take a d8's worth of damage because I made a shitty dex roll. Oh fucking! Of course I had to roll that much. God damn. 
Oh, he comes out the other end, badly burned but alive, and says, I'm fine. That fire didn't know who- Oh my god, fire! <laughs> I forgot I was afraid of it for a moment. Quack, yes, Donnie, I know it's just fire. It's not a living thing. Quack. And it's Casper's turn, which I assume he's sleeping. Yes, yes, I am. I ain't give no fucks. I'm hurt. I'm tired. Going to bed. Bed good. That's good. <laughs> bed is good. Good bed good. Uh, and that makes it Oriana's turn. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Well, everyone else is on the train, so good luck with that. You just hear Catharsis yell, is... I will help you fight this fire from this side. <laughs> Maybe. The problem is, I don't have the movement. Even if I dash. Ooh, that is bad. Could you transform have... into an animal with greater movement speed than your own? That's what I'm trying to look up. <laughs> Also, I have a question. Since I am a tiefling and I am fire resistant, does that carry no. over to whatever I turn into? No, it does not. Damn. Pure fire resistance is supposed to be fire. <laughs> and I think the best thing you can turn into that has highest movement would be a war horse. Or you do, do like Donnie and be a bird. And fly over the fire. I can't fly. Yeah. Otherwise, I like. Yeah, druids can't turn in, into anything that has flying speed until level eight. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, warhorse, it is, and then. And because B shape is, or wild shape is a bone. Crap. It's an action. So I can't dash. I have a question. Can I move as a tiefling and then B shape and then move as a thing? I mean, yeah. I don't see why not. One sec. Let me double check some of the stuff around wild shape, is the only thing I'm checking right now, but. Theoretically, I think that's totally possible. And that's why okay. I can't find it. Because I, I think, think that's what I need to do in order to get out. <laughs> you mean before you we both get stranded? The of the... Here's the funny thing. I was ready for it to go either way. If you were in the range of that explosion, it would have absolutely killed you. And not like maybe killed you. Even if you made every single deck save, it would have in one shot hit you with enough health to one shot you. Because it would have been 22 times 4, give or take. Yeah, that would have... That would have... That would have done it. I was going to say, it, it, it has to... My max is 55. <laughs> oh, it would have not. It wouldn't have gotten you then. Unless unless I rolled the slightly higher than average. Then it might have got you, but that's only if you take roll. Anyway. All right this i'm gonna go for the source i don't know why i always check other stuff when i know where the source is all right ah there we go come on where is it yep 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 So reverting to your normal form is a bonus action. But to the the wild shape form. So you're trying to go into this wild shape form, right? Yes. So that's an action. So I can't dash, but the question was, can I move, change, and then use the horse movement? Yeah. 
should absolutely be able to. It should only okay. take as much movement as you would have previously used. Uh, I'm trying to... Okay, either way. Horse, move! Ah, no. I am Here is now... something else. You retain the benefit of any features from your class, race, or other source and can use them if your new physical form is capable of doing so. Only your special senses, such as dark vision, are not of use. So you should so be I'm fire still resistant. Fire resistant. Yes. Okay. That's why I wanted to check. Because there are a lot of things. Fine. There's other stuff too. For instance, you can take the proficiency bonus of the animal, but you can also choose to take your proficiency bonus. That would have been helpful with the bear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now over here. This, that's why I was checking. All right, cool. Yeah, I figured you should and be I'm able a to. Horse. There's a reason Druid is a decent class still. Like, you can do a lot of good, fun stuff with the Druid. Like, between going animal and not animal. Unfortunately, doing it that quickly like that does use up a pretty big... Because I think you, it's not time, it's uses. Yeah, it's uses. I have two uses per short rest. Yeah, so you got one use left this short rest. Which looks like we're probably taking a short rest. <laughs> and I assume your snake just comes along with you. Snake follows. Snake hops on the back of a horse and just hangs out. All right. I figured, but I didn't want to assume. You know, that makes an ass out of you and me and Michael all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now everyone's over here. Um, Cathars is like, Jesus Christ, we were all going to burn to death. wonder what asshole did that. Hmm, I wonder. Wait, I can't talk. Never mind. <laughs> Nay! You, you mean him? <laughs> like, you're oh, so right! I am an asshole. Quack. Yes, Donnie, she just said that. Wait, My, do you yeah. understand me? Yeah, why? The fuck? Quack. Yes, that, well, she wouldn't know that, would she, Donnie? But Donnie's still just a quack? Yeah, Donnie's a duck. <laughs> Donnie doesn't speak horse. Quack, what do you mean you speak horse? You've been lying to me all these years? Quack, well, yeah. Guess you are okay. lying then, do Donnie. Does my horse take damage since I ran through fire? I don't think so, no. I think your horse should maintain your fire... Was it resistance or immunity? It's resistance. It's oh, so then yeah, you would. Yeah, you'll still take half. Uh, you will take. Well, first take a dex roll because you're trying to run through the fire as quickly as possible. Yikes! That's a natural three. Uh, yeah. No. So you're gonna go ahead and take. Uh, so it's a four <laughs> as a horse. So you're gonna take seven damage. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> well, actually, how many spaces were you in the fire? Uh, Did you run through all three spaces? Is there a way for me to not? <laughs> oh, you could have tried to jump. That's the only other thing I can think of. Eh, it's too late. I ran yeah. through all three. Uh, in that case, uh, take eight damage. Eight I, total? Yeah, because I rolled ass on that last one. <laughs> like, okay. like, super booty. I'm still a horse, though. Gay horse. It's so, like, you know... I'm not sure whether or not horses are supposed to ride trains. Quack, what do you mean, Donnie? There's an entire train for horses? Fascinating. Whose centipede is this? <laughs> God, he's such an idiot. I love him. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is that Donnie is the brains of the operation. At which point Donnie uh, comes back and sits on his head. Quack, Donnie is supposed to be a helmet. Quack, what do you mean you're on strike? <laughs> Quack. Donnie, I don't have any bread. Quack. Donnie. Donnie, you can't scab for bread. So. And I unlock now. 
uh, you can try to unlock the mechanism. You actually got to figure out what the mechanism to unlock is and then unlock the mechanism because last time you just spent both times trying to fucking hit it. Does anyone know how to unlock this? If not, I'm just going to hit it again. Quack. Tony says he does, but he can't explain it in English. I tell the idiot to tell the giant <laughs> look for something that she can pull out of the All right, um, she said that you out. need to look for something to pull out. <laughs> that's what I, that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's something we got to pull out. I don't know why though. Hey, why do we got to pull something out though? Alright, so try to pull something out. Uh, I guess roll a d20 to see if you... Using that information, you can... I, accurate... I don't think of the terms. No, I know. It, it wouldn't matter, because she's not very smart. Do you get what I'm talking about, though? No, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the joint ring. but Yeah, I know what you're talking about, too, but my character doesn't... Yeah, uh... that's the thing. Her, her character is not that smart. And Donnie, being the translator... <laughs> Makes right, for an extra uh, level of stupid telephone. Without any extras, I had a 13. Uh, we'll say that's good. You see a big ring protruding from the side of one of the joints. You figure that's probably the one. Sure, pulls it out. Alright, uh, as you do, you hear a, like, a lot. Actually, you probably need to roll a strength check for that. Because despite what they show in the movies, that shit is not just slide out all right <laughs> it's welded in there too but i mean th there's know. a secondary welding but there's a latch oh, oh, lever oh. release thing you know i had a 19 plus my five for oh strength, geez yeah so we're gonna 25. say that you got that even if it was welded you could probably have fucked it up to a 25 <laughs> said 25 is uh a near legendary feat that's what the the numbering should equivalent to. So I think ripping, you know, that that'll work. Yay! And uh, it takes a little bit, probably a couple seconds, but the the train behind you starts to slowly kind of fall behind, and fall out of vision as it it continues to catch fire. Oh, good! We're on the right. And side. Uh, you didn't notice, you couldn't see, but the whole roof is on fire. <laughs> God damn it! Like the oh, top of the we roof. Just skip left? Yeah. So like as oh, it's God. distancing, like the entire, like not even some, like the entire top of the roof is on fire, and you see something on the roof. I knew I didn't like that train. You don't like trains in general. I don't I like. Don't. I don't like trains, but only on Tuesdays. All right. So Kiori's like job done so she's gonna just walk near the half -life. she's not gonna roll in anything or nothing she's gonna plop and <laughs> night the the plopping of the large person is enough to make the little halfling kind of bounce up from the ground land back on the ground but he's used to that <laughs> <laughs> stars is gonna look do you smell like fire in here? Quack. Yes, Donnie, I know I smell like fire. Quack. Donnie says it does smell like fire besides me in here, though. And my little... Oh, by the way, my little wolf, like... Rests next to me. Man, we gotta go find his ass. Wherever he is, he's always he, nearby. He is... He disappeared. No! There's only I one thing it. to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good hey. thing you left. Holy fuck. Yeah, I found, I found the wolf. I'm bringing it over. I like how he finally saw that, Dippy. What? Yeah, yeah. The fuck is that? It is a nope rope. <laughs> no, that's not even a nope rope. That's a, uh, open the fuck on out of here. You should have listened to I just love it because <laughs> <laughs> there's always a bigger story going on in the background for these. Diffy kind of sees while, well, like, I had the whole second cart ready for a while. But there's even more stuff that I haven't, I, I don't show because now I know Diffy's watching on stream. 
<laughs> so like I have that guy. There's another stuff. There's stuff going on in this cart that Divi can see, but can't see because I have it on the opacity layer. So like I zoomed in, so she'll be able to see it now. Yeah, I noticed that stuff. I'm just gonna pretend as if my character doesn't exist. <laughs> but doesn't know. This is why she's resting. If you say so. Speaking of, it's Curie's turn, so that's what she did. Well, either way, I would have rested because how many rages do I have left? Three. I mean, you probably have a decent amount. It was Michael who was out of rages. <laughs> oh, I only I have half of my rages left. That's why I rested. I mean, it's not. Oh, that's. I mean, you only get rage back for a long rest. Eh, my character just in general, because she also is at like a at a seven health. I'm at two. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, think and I think we're all gonna die here soon. Probably. But till then, <laughs> I'll take a nice power nap. Sweetie, you're not gonna get that in. Nope. And seeing what's coming... Can I roll a perception check to see if I see what's moving towards us? Yeah. You can. You can see them with your basic perception. Like, passive. Okay. They can't, because they decided to take a fucking nap. Well, Damn right. I'm... Can I... Okay, hold up. I gotta measure. I gotta, I gotta love our group of adventures. They're so carefree <laughs> that I love it. It's like, are you worried about that? But worried about what? Okay, can... She's gonna move to here? She's gonna say, hello, bees. <laughs> And she's gonna trampling charge this thing. Oh, okay. Cause she's still a horse. Yes, she is. Yeah, the horse has the trample attack. Um. Which should be I don't know the modifier. Strength right of now. fourteen for you got for you. Okay, give me a second. I don't know what yeah. the modifier for this thing is. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh wait, no. That was the last roll. Now I have to wait for it to roll the dice. Wait, was that the right? I can't tell. It still says rolling. Okay. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, they did beat that one. So it does not get uh run. I mean, it still should take damage. But wait, does it still take damage on half? Uh. For horse trample. Or be knocked prone. That's right, that's what it's trying to resist. So, okay, hold up. So that was... Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 65, 60. She's gonna go all the way to there. Okay. She just ran right through it, <laughs> essentially. That was interesting. Uh, I will say that it should provoke an attack of opportunity once you leave its area of attack. I believe. Technically. I th I'm just uh, going off of my memory. Uh, Technically. Uh, luckily for you, I roll like an actual jerk wad. And uh, didn't hit shit, so. What'd you roll? Uh, two. Okay, good. That's what I rolled. With the bonuses, <laughs> it was. AC right now. Yeah, no, you're good. Also, remember, all the uh, health damage that's done to you in beast form is not transferred over. Yes, it just once I hit zero there, it. You're unconscious, but it doesn't actually hurt any of your health. No, once I hit zero as a beast, I revert back and are unconscious. I revert back. So when you transform, you assume when you revert to your normal form, you return to the number of hit points you had before you transformed. If you roll dropping to a zero point hit points, any excess damage carries over to your normal form. Yeah. So, for example, I have eleven left. If you hit for twelve, for twelve, right, you would take that would one. go to zero, and then I would take one on what I have left as my tiefling form. Yes. 
but it doesn't knock you it doesn't uh cause you to die just because you die in animal form yeah magic magic hey magic. kids you want to buy some magic <laughs> that is the most accurate depiction of magic the gathering ever and it's Catharsis' turn, and he's going to go like, fuck no. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as close as he can get. He's going to run here and shout at him, you're a fucking whore. At the dog. At the dog. At which point, Donnie, who was on his head, is going to jump off and attack. Quack. I'm just going to yell at the idiot to be smart be as smart as you can about this and don't die again what does that word mean quack no not smart the word mean what <laughs> he wants to know what the word mean means still question donnie or <laughs> just don't die again! Uh, Donnie hops off and tries to attack, but misses. And lands there. And, he's, and he gives out a defiant quack. <laughs> and then Kaz first turn, but he's sleeping. Yeah! Heavy snoring is heard. Uh, then we got Quarry's turn, but she's sleep. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's Ori's turn. No, well, I'm a horse and I'm attacking, damn it. I am a horse, goddammit, and I will be heard. Nay. <laughs> Said being an animal is great fun. Ask Donnie. Quack, what do you mean it's no fun being an animal, Donnie? Why is everything you say to spite me? Donnie's a party animal. He's an animal, that's for sure. Oh shit, did I buy two of these? Oh fuck. Alright. Wait, were those high She's shoes? gonna actually, she's gonna run her twenty feet and oh. see if she tramples and knocks him prone. Shit, those were crazy. So I gotta switch them. Okay. 20 feet to knock him prone. Let's do it. Strength check 14. Or strength save. Alright, let's see what it got. Ah, oh, hey, look. Wait, I don't know what its modifier is. Alright, it's not the same in this because it's not. Oh, there it is. It is just one off. It, oh, come on. Damn it. Ah. Uh, yep. That is a knocked prone dog. Bodas attack hooves! Nice. And I gotta double check this because I'm always. Where is it? Ah. Uh. And I have advantage because he's prone. Correct? You should, yes. That's what prone says. However, and this is the one I wanted to think. You're using, I assume, the warhorse variety? I am a warhorse. I have the yeah. warhorse thing. So, up. and this is to rem just to remind you to read it pretty carefully. So, if you move at least 20 feet straight toward a creature, right? And then yes. hits it with a hooves attack on the yes, same that's... turn. You have to hit it with a hooves attack. Yes, that's what I have to. That's what I'm about to roll for. <laughs> yes, before you trample, you have to hit it with the hooves attack. No, it's yeah. Says no, that's what it says. Not... If the moves at least twenty feet straight towards a creature, then hits it with a hooves attack, then the target must succeed on a DC fourteen strength, or be but knocked I... prone. Then, if the target is prone, they can make another attack with its hooves. Okay. I'm just reminding okay. you for the future that you yeah, have I'm to hit a I'm horse doing attack. I'm trampling charge, so that's yeah. what I'm doing. Yes, but you didn't hit the. You have to do the charge. You have to hit the attack first. That's what it says in the description. If the horse moves at least 20 feet straight and then hits, then you can knock okay, the target. I'm just letting you know, because you did it twice before wrong, so I'm letting you know how to do it right now. Okay, well, you hadn't said anything before. Well, that's why I'm saying it now, and you can keep getting angry at it, 
or you can just make the roll. Because the way you're saying it is That's exactly what it's... I'm not saying it in anger. I'm trying to describe it slowly. I didn't go back and take down the other one from last turn or say you didn't knock it down. I was saying for next time, which is exactly what I started saying, which was for next time, you need to move at least 20 feet and then hit with the hoof attack. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll retroactive the one that's on the turn now. And for the first one to see if he actually did get knocked prone is a 13. To okay. Hit. So that is not a hit. Okay, then never mind. He's not prone. No. Okay. And that makes it Kiori's turn. Who is sleeping, which makes it the dog's turn. Hey, and everybody's actually where he wanted them to be now. Fire! Yep, he just wanted everyone to line up in a line. And since no one's technically taking care of their beasts and where they're technically at, they are all in the attack range too. So whoever's got the dog and the snake has to roll for the dog and the snake. Oh wait, just the snake. And not Donnie. Because it's a 15 foot cone. And he's going for this direction. So it should go to... I hate D&D Beyond so much for in Roll20 sometimes. Because those are not accurate depictions of a cone at 15 feet. But... Your face is an accurate depiction of a cone. Your cone is an accurate depiction of a cone. Uh, shit. They really need to put cones in here. Then I don't have to think. And that oh, is... Oh no, Axel has to use his think muscle. I don't have that muscle. <laughs> I refused it. <laughs> I don't... I don't think it works that way. You don't know. There we go. Hellhound. Oh god. Oh, wait, yeah, cone. So, dexterity saving throw. Oh, of course he failed it. And the snake has the same dex as me. You, yep. Which could be a good or a bad thing. So I use the horse... Stats or my stats? Uh, I believe the text says you can use either, and you get to decide. So okay. choose the higher one. Well, I believe. Snake has a six. I have a nineteen. Okay, so yours is good. The snake's is not. So your snake takes 21 damage. And you What kind of health does my snake have? This is a good question. Your snake should have uh, basically a regular snake's health, and then it should be augmented by your constitution. All right, because you have giant con or a constrictor snake, I believe. Yes. It's just easier to look it up like this than it is in the monster manual, which is sad. take my dog out i'll be back no worries send me a text with how much damage i take and i'll mark it uh yours is 12 i think yeah but i'll just remind and then the, i'll send you the snake's health too once i figure it out that seems like an important thing <laughs> i should have figured out earlier
so that's how it's going to work. So this is the same for everyone to make it easier, but for your animal companion, its health is going to be whatever its basic health is, and then it gets a plus your constitution modifier for every level you have. So whatever your constitution modifier is, times six will be ad added into your animal's health. They gonna be healthy motherfuckers. That's actually kind of nice. Now I gotta look up what a fucking giant centipede has for health. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil the fun and tell you not a bunch. It actually, tell might have what? more than it. it. Might have more than I think actually, which is funny. Uh, according to this, it has. Wow. <laughs> How much wow. did it have? <laughs> According to this, it has four health. Yep, that's why I gave you guys some bonuses. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to die. Is it six hit. times our constitution modifier? Yes. So I get to add 18. Wow, it has 22 fucking health. I mean, it's better than four, right? It, 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 it is. It's, it's like... just... He's like, oh my god, like 20 this? fucking health. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you would be alright. I believe in you, Michael. At least you believe in me. Who? <laughs> 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 and honestly, once we finish this encounter, it might be a decent time to stop. Unless we're trying to go for... A Longer one today, or well, not like longer than usual, but longer than this, just because another encounter will usually take another hour or two. Yeah. At least with the pace we run through shit. Said if I we mean, could all just decide to do one thing or another. It would be nice if I could actually get the rolls I fucking need. The, to be fair, some of those things like the door... Uh, what, it wasn't like an easy door, you know what I mean? It's oh, obviously it's a metal, it's a metal door. door, but I'm talking about in combat. If you guys uh, yeah, well. wouldn't ever miss. I mean, I would have done that to feed the plank up. <laughs> no. He's like, no. He said the whole point. Oh, really? It's so small, man. Just stand stuff like that. Out of curiosity, would that f would that cone of flame have woken up Kaz? Uh, let's see. Yes, I mean, what? <laughs> That's always the question. What? How heavy a sleeper are you? Mm. 
after I base it off my real life? Because I'm not exactly a heavy sleeper in real life. It's true. So we'll just base them off real life. Oh, I guess that's how it works. That's probably the best way to address it. Address what? Uh the sleeping thing so what you're going to do is make a perception roll with disadvantage I'll do that right now because I'm just like well what the do we do here Answer, 20 and I have no bonus and I'm actually just, just going to do it as 2d20 yeah that's fine and then take a lower roll <laughs> <laughs> And figures, one of those was a fucking crit. Gotta love where you use your crits, man. I actually wish that three would have been a one so I could fucking re-rolled it. Yeah, that's the funny part about being a fucking halfling. It's like suddenly you find yourself wishing for, wishing for bad rolls. Alright, so I did not wake up. I'm gonna say no. Okay, well since I didn't wake up, I'm gonna go grab mac and cheese. Okay. Sounds like a fair exchange. Okay, sorry about that. Not good. There it is. Man, I am so confused sometimes. I swear, I have three screens and I still don't have enough to look up all the shit I need all the time. <sighs> but uh yeah uh what you missed was basically michael trying to roll to wake up he failed i also need to put the damages down on these guys donnie's good and that takes that and did you get the notes about the snake? Yeah, and do I take half? Yeah, so you took... So I sent you half was 12 because the full damage is 21 and then rounded up. So we Oh, wait, no, at 11. Saved? Sorry, it's 11. Oh, sorry, you saved and the... I saved, the snake didn't. Okay, so the snake takes 21. You take half, which is actually 11, sorry, because that would be 10.5 rounded up. All right, well, I am back to tiefling. Like, exactly. Ah, I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, then Catharsis' turn. He's on the ground. He took fire to the face. Donnie is totally fine, though. Speaking of, motherfucker, Donnie fell over. Wake me up. 
Wake me up inside. All right, Donnie, <laughs> Donnie fell over, and he's going to use the rest of his action to get up and go and stand on Casimir and see if that wakes him up. Because cause I, have, I have a wonderful idea. All right, well, you can roll your passive again and see if you notice the duck standing on your face. You would hope, but no guarantees uh, in life. 2d20 because yep. disadvantage. Yep, disadvantage is sleeping. Level 20s! Holy shit! Uh, yeah, you wake up with Donnie's butt in your face, basically. Get off my face! What's going on? Quack. I don't speak, Doc. Quack. Donnie says you should learn, ignorant prick. You know what? Since you can speak, Doc, why don't you teach me? Can't teach perfection. Perfection, my ass. You wish your ass was perfect. But yeah, you're awake now. So yeah, uh, is it, is it, is it my turn? Here. Um, yeah. Baller. Kind of sucks that I blew both my fucking twenties on that. You actually blew three if you count the other one. Shut up. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I see that hellhound after I move out here. Yeah. All right. Not another one of you sons of bitches. Quack. Tony says that's that one for earlier. Oh. Still, another one. And, uh... I'm... <laughs> uh, I don't like that laugh. Yeah. I know you don't. I'm going to, uh, walk up, and I'm going to try to grapple the hellhound okay and then if my grapple is successful i'm gonna try to yeet it off the back of the train <laughs> all right um now i definitely need to um look at some <laughs> stuff i didn't before and now i do <laughs> everything was hunky dory now it's hunky flory um This is also why I miss 5e when I actually had the whole damn book memorized. And still got shit wrong. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah, that's surprise. That's no turn. Bonus, blah, blah, blah. Where's goddamn grammar? Grammar! There we go. And if I can't eat it, if I grapple it right, can I try to snap its neck? I mean, you can try. Alright, uh... Mm-hmm. All right. Well, yeah, you can definitely go up and give it a shot. It's just All a right. strength. One d twenty plus my strength check, which is a plus four. Yep. Sixteen plus four is a twenty. Oh wait, actually, I almost forgot. Nope. You did no. not win. Nope, because it has its own modifiers. I almost forgot to count. Uh unfortunate it uh it resists your grapple that's bullshit it's a hellhound dude i think it's bigger than you are i'm like 80 percent sure it's just straight yeah it's a medium-sized creature it is just straight bigger than you grapple counts as a single attack right uh yes yeah, so you can make multiple all right. Well, uh, I'm going to. Uh... Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna punch it in the fucking face. All right. So unarmed attack. Yep, that's one d twenty plus seven for my hit. Mm. 
18. That hits. And I don't even have to roll because it does 5 damage. Alrighty. And that goes to... Oh. Because it has not taken that. And that ends my turn. Guy, that makes it Oriana's turn. We're gonna frostbite this guy. That is a good plan. Constitution save of 14. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me move my guy more accurately. And he unfortunately barely met it. Boo. Yeah. You guys are just unlucky that I'm actually remembering to put in... Well, it's also because this guy's actually got decent enough stats that he gets bonuses to his rolls, whereas most monsters get, like, plus one if you're lucky on some of the shit. But that's only because he's a hellhound, not a natural creature. Yeah, it's pretty much he's just got really good stats. Gotcha. Although, if you made an intelligence one, he has awful st <laughs> Same with charisma. <laughs> awful. Minus two. Well, Corey. sadly, we don't have any Sleeping. Or something like that. Nah, and all my stuff's constitution or dex. It's uh, unfortunate. It is his turn now. Yeah. And he's going to try to bite, I guess, the guy that just punched him. And he missed. So, yeah. Darius' turn. Ooh, not looking good. Um, And it's... Oh, wait. Donnie's going to come attack. Come on. Mm, I don't think that hit. And uh, now it's Casper's turn. All right. Orion again. I'm gonna. You said that having the centipede turn into a weapon is a uh, bonus, right? Yes, bonus action. All right, centipede's gonna walk over here. I'm gonna have it turn to my battle axe. I just imagine it slithering up your little halfling legs into your hand and then turning into an axe. Just yeah, pretty much. Up, which, up the body by the leg. Which is funny because the, the reason arm. the reason I chose the size of all these is like relatively the. Basically, the uh, the centipede is the same size as you, basically. <laughs> so that's why it's a battle axe, because the battle axe is roughly, give or take a couple a foot or two, your height. Um, and even but for you, it's since... actually less than a foot or two. But yeah, uh, cool, battle axe. Now, since I'm uh, armed with my battle axe again, I'm going to swing at the fucking hellhound. Sick and tired of these damn things. They are pretty annoying. 1d20. Oh, actually, I'm going to be smart about this. Before I swing, since I'm a halfling. Boop. Hey, there you go. I was waiting for the flanking. Flanking, motherfucker! <laughs> Which I'm still pissed they didn't put the flanking option stuff in the main player's handbook and only mentioned it in the, D the DM handbook. Shitty move. Right. Anyway. So I, I get to roll 2d20 because of an advantage, and I'm double handing it. So that's 2d20 plus 9. If you roll both of them, it's going to add both the 20s together like it did on the last one. It does, but you just count them yourself. 2d20 plus 9, and I take the highest of the 20s. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> You hit. Well, technically, I'd get to re-roll that one, so I'm gonna re-roll that one anyway. Oh yeah, do it for a twenty. Watch him roll a two, or another one, <laughs> which is actually equally bad. That, well, that's a nineteen, so I'll I'll take the higher one, which makes it a twenty-eight. That is a hit. I forgot though. If you roll another one, you're stuck with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Double ones. Anyway. But, all right. So that's a hit. So I'll roll my one. And plus, I believe it's six. Yes, plus six. Thirteen damage. Alrighty. And doing my second attack for the round. I believe that is. Yes, it is. And I take the highest, and I get to, I got one there, so I get to reroll that one. Uh, 
I like how he's not saying damn halflings now. <laughs> I'm going to remind you of this damn shit the next game. Fucking halflings. All right. Anyway, that's a that's a uh, 26 for the highest. Okay, that should be a hit. All right. 10 plus 6. Another 13 damage to it. Alrighty. And that makes it, should make it anyway, Oriana's turn, unless you're using Rage or Frenzy nope. or some other thing. I can't. Oh, right, no bonus I didn't, action. I didn't complete a long rest. Oh, that's right, you're also out of him. You couldn't have anyway because you used your bonus action to make the Centipede Sword, or Battle Axe. Unfortunate. And Cory's sleeping. And it's the wolf's turn. And he missed! See, this is why I just... I like to have the ones with moves that I don't have to roll for. <laughs> I oh. thought you just said it was Ori's turn. So oh, shit. I fucked up. Yes, it is. Yeah, Go, you, Ori! You, you skipped it's, her. I don't know why it keeps double skipping over to Diffie's character when I go past Cassidy. Because I go by the turn order, and then when I see Diffie, I just skip past her. Because <laughs> she's sleeping. But yeah, it is Ori's turn. Alright, we're gonna try Frostbite again. Frostbite! Give me a moment. Yep. 14. Oh, it, it made the save. I'm sorry. It made it? it? It it made it naturally this time. Last time it barely made it. This time it was like ready for it. It was like, haha, I am fire. But I'm also yeah. bleeding. This is why they need bonus action attack spells. Like not big ones, but like one damage ping. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Clerics have that, but I'm not a cleric this time. It's true. Although, see, yeah, some of theirs, they still have to hit for. Uh, damn, inflict wounds. That's an action. I'm talking spiritual weapon. I mean, that one is cool, but you it's still got, say, roll on it. And I can fuck and, that up inf good. Inflict wounds doesn't um, always hit. No, you have to do a hands attack. But neither does... Uh, don't believe spiritual weapon hits every time. No, you've got to roll for that, too. That's what I mean. It's like, there's some, like, magic missiles, a good example, where it's just like, ping! Then again, I don't think it's bonus to cast any more old what? versions that used to be a bonus action. Okay. Uh, I don't... Send I don't the snake! <laughs> Is the snake a bonus action? Uh, yeah. To turn the snake into the weapon, or... Technically, you can no, just tell just the snake to do whatever. Snake's got his own set of moves. I think of it like playing a ranger who's a beast master. Yeah, I've never played a ranger. So basically what you get to do with your pet is if you really wanted to, your pet takes its turn on your turn, but doesn't consume any of your character's actual actions. It has its own actions. And see, the way... All I know about Rangers is from Critical Role Campaign 1. <laughs> and the way that they play it is it's either your action or the beast action. Which is just a lazy DM's way. Because that's not how it's described in the DM guide. Yeah. But also every DM has their own set of rules. So... It, it, it definitely is. That one though is... I try not to... T like that's a big function of the, the Rangers kit is his ability to interact with his animal. So, like, for example, one of the biggest uses of that move is to use your animal companion to gain flanking. So, say that Michael wasn't there or whatever, you could order the snake to go to the other side, and then you have flanking. Yeah. Even if it doesn't attack or do anything, which in some cases, and that being the more important thing is, like, the Beastmaster's animal is not always for combat. A lot of the times it's actually a better choice to go utility and get something that can like fly or climb or carry stuff, stuff like that. You know what I'm going to do instead? 
Thunder Wave. Have... <laughs> no, I have, I have something else I can actually use as a bonus action. Oh, nice. Oh, is it one of the... Gonna... Sorry, go ahead. We're gonna Flame Blade with my... Well, with one of my last spell slots. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, please don't Thunder Wave, I will die. Thunder yeah, Wave! I was gonna Thunder Wave until you moved over there. <laughs> thunder Wave! <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so, Flame Blade, yes? I have, I now have a Fiery Blade in one of my hands. Said, uh, similar in size, shape, oh, last variation. I have to use my action to hit. Yeah. But I have it now. Indeed. You also shed light, so it, it does do that. Good spell. I assume this is already hit. I mean lit, not hit. Yeah, it is lit. <laughs> it is lit. I was like, I mean, it is already hit. We've been beating the shit out of this from hell. Huh? And I think that will end your turn, yes? Yeah. Alright, that makes it... Uh... I didn't read turn. it. I thought I could hit with it too as a bonus action. <laughs> My, th they need to organize like they're. It's not like it's bad because they're they're fine, but like some of the spells need to be better organized in their yeah, order of description. Yeah, where it's like, okay, you can do this, but this is not a like one turn spell. This is like a two turn spell. This is a prep and then use spell, or if you or do like use this bonus spe action, then hit. Yes, like, but it, like. No, it's just like casting time, bonus action. Cool, so that means I can, you know, flame blade him in a bonus action, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Then I read as I was saying, yeah, I'm doing this. No, I, I do that all the time. Especially I this now, so. moon, yeah. Yep. Moon beans! <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to ask very politely for the uh, hellhound to keep its previous roll on its attack towards me. Fail. Uh, It's going to go ahead and attack you and see. Fuck you. <laughs> you are a lucky bitch. I've been rolling twos and threes fucking the last 20 minutes. Yes, or else you would be lying on the ground in the pool of your own blood. Again. Yeah. For a fifth time. Yeah, and yes. actually next round when his flame breath recharges, it would be that way. <laughs> but uh, that should make it Casimir's turn. I was gonna say, why the fuck did you skip me, homie? Dude, it it like clicks four times and goes through the list. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm doing the same thing I did before. Two handing my battle axe. God damn hiccups! I was about to say hiccuping the day away. Yes, you are. All right, come on. Wow. You well, get a reroll the one. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely rerolling that one. Holy fuck. Couldn't have rolled much worse there. Oh. Alright, so that's a hit. Oh. Alright. Roll my 1d10. That was fucking terrifying. For 8 damage, almost minimum. God damn. Alrighty. And, uh... Maybe. If it's still alive, I'm It is. <laughs> Alright, second attack. Don't do it to me again. Well, there's there's a one there. <laughs> you gonna you gonna re-roll it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Twenty. <laughs> there you go. What I was fucking looking for. All right. So roll one d ten plus two. And whatever the D10 rolls, double that, then add the 2. Yes. So that's 16 plus 2, that's 8 damage. Or, 8, eight Yes, 8 damage! <laughs> okay, 18. 18 fucking damage. So you, uh, you swing down your battle axe, and with a crushing thud, it strikes the hellhound's spine, and it spews out fire in a breath of flamey death. Yeah! Make a reflex roll, both of you. Son of a bitch! Yeah, you forgot about this, didn't you? Yes, and I get to roll it with advantage. Yeah. Ten. Twelve. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you both failed. Yeah. 
And it's gonna fucking hurt. Yeah, it's twenty one damage. Yeah. To everything That's... in a twenty five foot circle. Let me get the circle back. Go uh, it. What, does that affect around walls and corners? Yes, it fills areas. That's although, although this right one. now, it's, I don't think it will hit. Oh, yeah. Because what, what? It won't because hit Divya, I don't there. think. Okay. It should maybe hit her, but I don't think so. Um, I don't know where my square went. I lost my square. I'm going to go find a new one. Oh, yeah. Just so y'all know, my dog is being a pair right now. It's all right. I think we're pretty much uh, we're right about at the part to take a break since everyone's pretty fucked right here. Um, pretty fucked? You, you don't say. I'm still up. Guess who's down again? All right. My so character's been sleeping this whole time. Everybody in that circle. Also prepare oh, your character I, to wake I up because this will definitely wake you up. Roll for my... Well... Night. Yeah, so everyone in that circle who did not beat a uh, 15 on their reflex roll, it's taking 21 damage. Yeah. Uh, my snake is dead. Uh, is it dead or unconscious? Uh, it's unconscious. Okay. They had 10. Okay, yeah, he's just uh, unconscious. Take that 10 and add uh, six times your constitution item. Oh, he, she already had the full health. It took damage earlier. Oh, oh right, right. The uh, Diffie's is going to be knocked out. Probably, I don't think your centipede is quite knocked out after that. Um, it's got like two health left. Bad oh, that's right. So it doesn't take damage, but you're unconscious and can't revert it. <laughs> yep. So it's stuck as a battle axe for now. Uh, boom. This is down number five. <laughs> Donnie made the save, by the way. Yay. Yay, Donnie. Uh, unfortunately, he is a duck, and he still went down. So, uh, yeah, everyone who did not make that save took 21 damage. This body is gone. Uh, this should be unconscious. I believe the snake should be unconscious. The centipede is not a centipede right now. Donnie the wolf is don't next to me. I don't know why the wolf keeps on being all over. Look, man, I don't move the wolf. That's Michael's job. <laughs> he shouldn't have been in range. He should have been near. I, I've said it multiple times. You were She has it. said that. Yeah. But even before that, I've heard her say yeah, the she wolf's has. just next to me. I really wish I could group those. Can Thank you, you baby. These? There we go. Yeah, now they're together. Or they should be. Yeah, they are. That will solve that problem. And yeah. yeah, there there you go. Good job, everybody. We lived. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. And I took a nap. I was like, okay, I keep up. It's okay. I'm sleeping. It's all good. I didn't realize I was on mute the whole time. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Pretty sure you had a few laughs while we were doing things. Oh no, yeah, I was just being amused. This time. She's just been mild, wildly, wildly amused by a terrible ending. I really wanted to eat that fucking hellhound off the goddamn train. I'm not gonna lie, the hellhound had amazing saving throws and ass attack rolls. <laughs> it was rolling like 18s to save from frostbite and to like resist grapple. But then it would roll a three to try to bite you. Which is... <laughs> I mean, how many ones did I roll in a row? Mr. Halfling. <laughs> I love that. I never... I, you never get to complain about it again, either. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's literally... It's like always... He's just like, fucking halflings. Goddamn. But I can still complain about halflings as a race. Just not because of the half buck. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking Shanghai midgets. Look, Michael, they're, they're you in real life. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 
grass tickles me numb nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are in a train. Uh, for whatever reason, the fire is not. Whereas before, you would notice when the hellhound would like breathe fire. A couple turns later, it would light up the room. Basically, this one did not. This cart is fireproof. No one says anything because you and you one you're sleeping, but there's only one person conscious right now. Hey, can I do a thing? I mean, yeah, you're the only person conscious. You do um, whatever you want right now. <laughs> you kill everybody in their a, sleep. I have a thing called natural recovery where I can ex choose up to three levels of spell slots to recover. Yes. So, uh, can I do that and? I don't see why not. Recover you three level one spells, and you then use all three of them to bring people back from the dead. Hey. Hey. You uh, you're trying to use them to bring Cathars back from the dead? Not to but I, okay. He's just unconscious. He's not actually dead. Who? Right? Cathars? The one on the left. Whoever. This one. Whoever. This one right whoever here. Whoever it has zero hit points. Okay, so currently, this person, this person, and this person right here all have zero hit points. Okay. This is a body. Catharsis is dead dead? Oh yeah, he's dead dead. He went, okay. he went down during that first round. He lost uh, the... Th two saving throws and then he just got hit by the explosion so that one's an automatic loss so he's dead okay well then but so can i do it to the snake and to um um this donnie one, then? oh yeah donnie's still alive too it's just catharsis is dead here's the thing with catharsis being gone what 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 does donnie have now i mean he's still a duck He's still a duck. But he's a duck. I mean, he was a duck before. <laughs> the only thing that has changed is Catharsis. Donnie is still just Donnie. Yeah, well, and he's as unconscious. far as I know, he's still part of the idiot gang. I mean, Donnie's is Donnie is definitely part of your guys' gang. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, fine. I will <laughs> use the third one on... You don't have to save Donnie. I was just saying Donnie is not dead. Yet. He is not quite yet a duck dinner. Okay. I'll... Well, how long do I have? Can I, you know... I mean, you got time to... I mean, you're pretty much in free roam. Uh, I guess I can start making Michael make his death saves every once well, in a while. <laughs> Michael actually gets... Uh... Five back. All right, Yay! so there you go. You're up to Death five. My snake gets four back. All right, so he's back to four. Do you have any connections to this duck? <laughs> uh, before on the train, never seen the duck before. Okay, because I have one spell slot left. Do I give it to the duck? Or is this duck going to be useful to us? <coughs> give it to the duck. Duck deserves to be saved. Donnie always deserves to be the one that lives. And of course the duck gets the highest number of healers. <laughs> and that's why he deserved it. Duck gets six. He uh, pops up and he goes, quack, and says thank you. And from amidst his feathers, you see him pull out a bottle of something and pour it all over Catharsis. <laughs> At which point Catharsis pops back up Duck die. with one hit point. He's like, holy shit. I think I just died, don't he? Quack. What do you mean again? <laughs> Quack. Donnie, you are a really mysterious motherfucker. You know that? Quack. 
At which point Donnie pulls out a potion of greater healing from his other feather wing area and hands it to you. To who? To you. So I get a greater? Yep. Okay, thank you. He says, quack. <laughs> Donnie says, you're welcome. And you're a very kind lady. Hellhound's god. I'm going back to bed. Quack. Donnie says, ditto. What the fuck are you talking about Pokemon for, Donnie? <laughs> <laughs> so he walks back over to where he was and crawls in the fucking sleeping bag. Next to right. my character that's been sleeping this whole time. Your character definitely would have gotten woken up by the explosion. Mine goes well, into one of the cars. Oh well, no. I, I kept Damn on it. being kids and I all didn't right. realize why. So when you go into the room. No. Uh, it's nothing no. like that. It's just. Boop. See an elf on the bed praying. Oh snap. Is it just in a like in the trance? Yep. It's doing its little nap thing. Okay, then I leave. I go and look for an empty car. Okay, well, uh, after a little bit of searching, you see that this car seems to be empty. Okay, it's mine now. You uh, <laughs> you did check the other car and saw that there were actually two people sleeping in the car, the car to the left of you. Uh, sorry. One sleeping, one sitting. Boop. Boop. <laughs> All the boops. And so you are in a bed. Uh, do you want to bar the door or do anything along those lines? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, no one's getting a Uh Donnie is going to sit on Catharis' head. Uh, Catharis is going to uh, lay down against the wall. If that makes any sense. Actually, question. Ye. Would I have had my own sleeping car? Amongst this? This is a good question. What's your background again? Folk hero, I think. Let me double check. I'm 90% sure I'm a folk hero, though. I'm gonna go with no, then, on this one. I would say this one is not uh, quite the folk from the background of this train for its actual purposes. Uh... A, a rustic hospitality. <laughs> this is true, but this is not a rustic train. <laughs> As proven by the door that Michael tried to chop through. <laughs> Why would you use your door, your metal battle axe on a metal door? My metal's stronger. You Centipede can find screams in pain. Hide, rest, or recuperate. As always. Damn it, I can't turn Donnie now. Why? If I make him bigger, can I turn him? No, I can't. Johnny, no, he just grew two sizes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, let me make some rolls real quick. But since there's no guard... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what was this, a short rest or a long rest? I need a freaking long rest. <laughs> Alright, so, long rest. Uh, so... Everybody, I guess, roll a d100. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah, uh, fuck, where's my d100? I was gonna say, I was just putting dice up. Sorry, this is the last thing. Is This will be for next time, rolling in. Okay. I, I 33. Okay. How do I do a d100 again? It's two d10s. Two tens. One that has the zeros on the end, that's your tens. One that doesn't, that's your ones. Seventy-one. Okay, I got that. So, uh, you guys got lucky. You got a full night sleep. Yeah. No, no interruptions. No bad guys knocking down the door. Just a nice oh. night's sleep. Take long rest. Confirmed. <laughs>
You can't undo it now. <laughs> you can't stop me now. I have rested my power. It's returning. No, I think you guys had, I think you guys dealt with that really well considering the first room was definitely not balanced. <laughs> All things that considered was... those hellhounds should have murdered the shit out of you. I made sacrifices. Uh, you were the sacrifice. Yeah, technically they did murder the shit out of someone. Yeah. You just had to have you just happen to have someone who can heal. Like I said I love that that's basically how 5e works. It's just like it's, I fell down, pick him back up. I fell down, pick him back up. I fell pick him back up. <laughs> but I uh, that's I not bad. there there. <laughs> said that if it, it's it's just tough being the only hero on a team full of barbarians, and of course, Catharis, who is not a barbarian, but might as well fucking be. And especially, like, not a dedicated healer. Yeah. Like, a cleric. Yeah. Even a cleric would have had a tough time dealing with all the different shit. Yeah, because I don't think I would have had... Well, I would have had... You would have done more healing. I don't think you would have had more often healing but i think they do what d8 or something it depends on the spell healing words the same regardless right but they have access to a lot easier and heavier uh healing spells. yeah i could i think at level six i would have at least one right mass healing spell yeah so the and i would have had spare the dying which would have made um people being unconscious a lot less stressful yeah we might not have lost catharsis it's, it's all good though he's never but truly I, dies his legend shall move on <laughs> oh just wait till you see him in the carnival episode yes God. i've already figured out what he's doing yes the yeah. monk's gonna stun him constantly they can I they don't make. Try. I never make Catharsis like a character that can't be like beat up. Donnie is, but that's a whole nother story. Donnie is Donnie. Donnie is Donnie, but Donnie yeah, Catharsis has always been a character that is like an actual player. Like with this one time kind of exception being, and mostly because I'm not even sure if we're revisiting this one again. Who knows? Next week is probably the carnival one. Or maybe our one of our third ones, but who knows? Carnival, carnival. I'm excited for the carnival, especially since I have a concept ahead of time. I can actually put some work into it, come up with some themed stuff, maybe some challenges yeah. that are so more excited. mental. Yeah. I will say, uh, I did like this train idea, but it is kind of limiting because it's very linear. Super linear. Also, I love how Diffie was just ready to kill off Catharis and fucking her. <laughs> Goodbye! Sorry! <laughs> it's like, I knew you well. You don't even know my name! I knew you well. Hey, at least she tried. Oh, you well. know? Like... Alright, well, I think, I think I'm gonna take... I think I'm gonna call that the stream for this week. Because we've basically got to a stopping point, and... We did good. And it's about our usual time, too. <laughs>